Let me tell you something. Will Smith and High Voltage have a lot in common. One thing is he's the, we're the king of the ring. The Fresh Prince, he's got it going on. When you step in the squared circle with High Voltage, we're definitely pounding some heads. When Will Smith will be pounding the funky beats on the microphone, we're pounding them definitely the squared circle. Oh, okay, How can you go wrong with Rage of Chaos and Will Smith? We're all gonna get jiggy wiggy, jiggy jiggy, jiggy, jiggy wiggy, baby! <laughs> Hey, everybody, Matt Pitbull once again with Larry and Tony. What do you guys think about this one? They really have a young duo here in a high voltage. Will Smith does because they're up, they're coming, they're strong, and they love the rain. They like it out here. Yeah, well, they better be careful. High voltage, you know, water, great conductor of electricity, and the public enemy, these guys are veterans. This is right up their alley. That's right. So representing LL Cool J, it's public enemy. <laughs> We are the last of the old school. They broke the mold when they were finished with us. We are the hot steppers and we dominate everybody. Our talent is too big for one medium. So high voltage. I got instructions from LL Farmer and she said, Daddy's gonna knock you out. And I'm gonna knock you out. And we're gonna knock you out. Wow, Johnny Rocco, or they film, they, I'm feeling it with them today. What do you think? They, they've got all the furniture with them. They've got the tables. They've got the trash cans. They're ready to fight. That's not trash cans. That's a normal street in New York. That's true. Absolutely. Carson, what's going on up there with you, my man? Oh, <laughs> the feud, The feud has started right here in the ring. Public Enemy representing LL Cool J and High Voltage. I'm getting the hell out of the way here. They are not messing around in the rain. You sure? They're hitting each other out here hard. Representing LL Cool J versus Will Smith, High Voltage, and Public Enemy. Oh my God. Jesus. All right, well, you know, Carson almost I'm got in right the middle of that. Ref, I Right. They almost got in the middle of that, and I, just like we thought, Larry, you know, you talked about this young duo. They don't care about rain nor the weather elements. They're going right at it. Yeah. Was that dog food to hit each other? I don't know. That could have been Carson. They got rid of him. But both these teams, they're insane. Public enemy, they don't care. They just want to smash their opponents through the table. High voltage, of course. Two young guys that want to make a name for themselves and reputation. Look at, look at the way they slip. These are dangerous conditions. Ankles, knees, and necks can be broke in the wink of an eye here. And what happens, what you're seeing are two teams who know each other quite well. Public Enemy, the former World Tag Team Champions, and of course, High Voltage, up and coming, and they scored a win only three months ago on one of our programs, Worldwide Wrestling, against the same former Tag Team Champs. Yeah, and it's even hard to see that wind is blowing. Some woman was holding on to her umbrella, looked like a 300 pounds Mary Poppins. Going up in the air, there's hard to see what's coming at you. This guy's on the table. Little table dance coming here now. Watch out, roll, rock, oh, rock. Rocco Rock and the table goes flat in the fans and Nick Patrick's gonna count him out right pinned, on the apron. Did he pin the table? Hey, he pinned everything that was on the floor. How'd you like that, man? Great, that's amazing. I knew those guys from hanging out with them earlier. I knew Public Enemy were gonna do it. So Public Enemy will have LL advancing. Public Enemy have won the round. There we go, amazing. I'm excited about that, aren't you? Uh, you you were hanging out with Public Enemy earlier? Yeah, I was. Wow. They didn't get you near a table, did they? No. Okay. Don't go by a table. They treat me with, with respect. The public enemy. Good. No question about it. Wow. LL is advancing to the next round. We were really excited about it. Will Smith, hey, you couldn't keep up with this guy's high voltage. What do you think? Uh, high voltage, again, try Public Enemy. Very experienced, and again, from Philadelphia, not far from the Big Apple, these guys live to fight in the streets. That's right. Now, we're moving on to match number two now. It's old school versus new school, and it's Cannabis what? versus Run DMC. In fact, representing Run DMC, it's Barry Darso. Yeah. For my boys, run DMC because they're the greatest. They're the original. In fact, they created moves that everybody's trying to copy. I love them. Run DMC, run DMC.
UFC has really, besides one of our colleagues, Mike Tanay, one of the biggest mouths in professional wrestling, Barry Darcy. What was that with the him. old school and the young school? That's well, what I'm, that was. I'm old school. I'm going to have to be anti-cannabis. Yeah, well, cannabis, guys, is actually represented by Booker T. And just like me, cannabis is an overnight success, if you know what I'm saying, you know. And just like me, they don't mind getting down and dirty just to come out on top, if you know what I'm saying. And that new CD, second round knockout, brother, it's going to be a knockout, if you know what I'm saying, because this is Booker T. And by the time it's over with, we going to raise the roof in this mud, and we going to burn it down. Now, can you stick what a week Booker T has had. He's the former world television champ, and he thought he was going to Slamboree next Sunday at our pay-per-view as the champ, but he got fooled by Fit Finley, so this is not a good time to be in a ring against him. No, and tough for Booker T. This man likes to fly. He depends on mobility, and again, the conditions are treacherous. You can see him squeezing him off. Booker T is going to be slowed down to a halt. All right. All right, Matt. Okay, guys, you know, we're going to check it out right now. We're going to go up to Carson to see the video feud. You choose who wins. Check it out. Carson? Yes, Matt. I don't want to get in the middle of this. Booker T representing cannabis. This is the new school right here. Of course, Barry is representing Run DMC, taking it back to the old school. I don't know. I mean, come on, let's talk about this. Hey, man, I, just like me, you know, cannabis rose to the top of their game. And just like this old man right here, we go send him back right to where Run DMC should be. We go knock this sucker off, and then we go raise the roof. Now, Barry, Run DMC is, if it wasn't for Run DMC, cannabis might not be here today. Got to remember that. This would be completely out of here, because Run DMC is the best. And Booker T, the only way you're going to pick anybody like that up is, is it's going to be you picking yourself up off the concrete floor when I stick and put the boots to you. You got that? Bring it on. All right. I think what we're going to do now is let me go right up. We've got Booker T's representing cannabis and Barry's representing Run DMC. I need to get the hell out of the way because all hell could break loose at any second. We're going to show you this video. There's an 800 number on the screen, 95 cents to call. You can vote for your favorite video on screen right now as we've got battle number two. Now is Run DMC the best or what? What about Run DMC? They're going to beat off cannabis. They're better than anybody because they're the originator. Just like me, Barry Darso. I can knock the heck out of anybody like Run DMC can do to cannabis. You got that fucker key? One of the most prolific athletes in the world. And right now, we talking about cannabis. And we want to know what the people think about cannabis. Let's raise them up. What we talking about? We talking about knocking somebody out. We going to knock Run DMC out today because cannabis is on the one, baby. They hot, they cooking, and they just like Booker T. They gonna raise the roof in this mud. Now can you dick? All right, we got the final votes in. It is 68 to 32 in favor of cannabis, and Booker T is our battle number two winner right here. Make some noise. Cannabis on the one, baby. Cannabis on the one. What happened to Barry? Barry is, is done. He's gone for the day, and Booker T is the winner. We're going to stay on top all day long. Rain, sleet, or snow, we're going bring, to bring it up. Now, can you dig it? We're digging it right here. We've got the MTV Ultimate Music Video Feud. The WCW is in the house. Little bit of rain, no problem. We've got much more fighting on the way, and a hyped-up crowd in New York City. We'll be right back. What's up? You're hanging out with us on Spin TV and WCW bringing with these ultimate music video feuds. I'm telling you, man, the wrestlers have been off the hook. Booker T and Public Enemy have won so far. But the best thing has been the fans, man. They got, they got the rain. They got the... Let me talk to you real quick and see. How'd you come out here, first of all, with short sleeves in the rain? Oh, well... Hey, it's it's a rainy day in here in New York. What else is there? And, and we're wrestling, you know. Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing today? Diamond Dallas Page. Can you feel the bang? Yeah. See what I mean? They're off the hook. I'm also hanging out with our newest BJ, Jesse Campbell. I love you, Jesse. Ah, thank you. You got somebody to talk to, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. What's up, yo? 
Now, who are you rooting for? The Canadian crippler, Chris Benoit. Yeah! You gotta stay right here and see how it goes down right now. We're gonna toss it back to Carson because he's talking to Carson! some more people. Carson, we're Yeah, that's right. This is the most dangerous place to be right here in the middle of the ring in New York City. We're here at Chelsea Piers. A little bit of rain never stops. Some good WCW wrestling. We got the referee right here keeping him back. With me, we've got, uh, take a look at the brackets right now. You can see what you've just missed. We've had two incredible battles. Two different ways these battles are happening. Music videos are feuding, and we've got wrestlers who are representing artists. We've got Public Enemy who won in the first round. That means LL Cool J won, and Booker T right here just beat Barry with uh, Cannabis winning as well. So that means these two are going to fight at some point, and all hell's going to break loose. That's what I'm going to say. You guys won. You feeling good about winning? Only one thing to say, cars, baby! Just like the song said, Mama said knock Booker out! Yes, and Booker T, come on now. You're the champion. You're the winner here. You know, listen up. Just like cannabis. Just, just like cannabis don't like LL Cool J. I don't like you suckers either. So what I'm going to say right now is back up off me, man. Raise up off me, sucker. Wait a minute. All right, as we got to say, as you just said it, there actually is a real-life feud between LL and cannabis. It's a little sticky, as it is here in the ring. But if you're not familiar with the real life, Problem going on. Check this out right now. It'll set it up. I was excited to do the record. And he had recorded something before I got there when I arrived. I noticed that he had said in one of the lyrics, you know, Ella's got a mic on your arm. Let me borrow that. He told me that the reference to the mic on his arm felt like I was kind of playing. So I told him, I, I'll come down and change my verse. And he said, if you change your verse, I'll change mine. Watch your mouth, better yet, hold your tongue. I'ma do this for free this time. This one's for fun. You know, and he felt like he was disrespected. Even though, you know, he, he says that, you know, LL was supposed to change his verse and this and that. But the reality is that I told him if you change that one point, that part about the mic in your lyrics, no one will ever know that this verse is referencing you. All right, now it's time to get it on. If you're at home right now, you want to represent Public Enemy and LL Cool J, you can do so in just a second. Booker T is representing Cannabis. We're going to give you the 900 number right now, and this is where it all comes down. If you're at home and you want to vote for either the artist or your favorite wrestler, you can do so. The 900 number is on your screen. It's 95 cents a call. you got to be 18 and you need a touch-tone phone, and we're about to get it on right now. So check out these videos and get ready to vote. No. It's the bomb. So if you want him to win, get on that phone, make a call, get on the high tip and vote for LL Cool J. Right on, baby. LL Cool J is the original OG. Get up off that sofa. 95 cents a call for the man that started it all. LL Cool J. I'm going to knock you out. You know, everybody know. Cannabis is the real new kids on the block. They ain't selling no whoop tickets like that chump LL Cool J. They here for a reason. They here to stay, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you know what, like Booker T say, it's old like a steaming pot of neck bone. And cannabis, we gonna be cooking, baby. All right, and we're back right here at Center Ring with Public Enemy and Booker T. And from all of your votes at home, we've got our winner, and that would be Cannabis just won. Cannabis is the winner. MTV's ultimate music video feud. There he is. Yeah. Now can you dig it? Cannabis going all the way, just like Booker T, three-time world television champ, and baby, like I said, cannabis, you own like a steaming pot of neck bones. Cook it, baby. Booker T's hot. He's won two in a row here. We've got a lot of fights coming up. Let's go over to Matt Pinfield right now and set up our another battle. Matt? Hey, thank you very much, Carson. It's Matt Pinfield here with the WCW announcers, Larry Zabisco and Tony Zavani. Guys, what's going on? We're psyched for this next one, too, aren't we? Are, we I mean, everybody is psyched, and, and I really think that sooner or later that Cannabis and LL Cool J should get to one of our pay-per-view events or Nitro on Mondays and get in the ring and settle this dispute. I would love to see we that We could easily arrange that. We sure could. We arrange a lot of things. I think a lot of people would love to see the outcome of that. Okay, um, we've got coming up another battle which we're really excited about, right? It's match number three. It's called the Six String Shootout. And this one's going to be intense because you've got, uh, I'm pretty excited about it, aren't you? We've got Diamond Dallas Page in this one. That's right. And we've got Brad Armstrong. It is Van Halen versus Metallica. Right now, Brad Armstrong. And uh, we're going to have him in just a moment. 
But guys, let's talk a bit about Diamond uh, Dallas and Brad. Let's get a little background well, on this First guy. of all, you saw the fans when they were talking to some of the fans. Yeah. Who are their favorite wrestlers? I mean, this sign of the Diamond Cutter has become a phenomenon across the world. Diamond Dallas Page, one move, the Diamond Cutter, maybe one of the most famous moves in our sport, Larry. Well, Diamond Dallas Page has come a long way. You now, Brad Armstrong, second generation, very good wrestler, however, suffers from a family curse and we'll see if he can break it in this weather yeah absolutely let's go with it match number three hi there how you doing it's the six string shootout and representing metallica it is brad armstrong As Larry said, he's talking about the Armstrong curse. Now, he will not tell us what that means. It's on his T-shirt. It says the Armstrong curse. Does that have something to do with well, his family? His father was cursed years ago by the butcher when he stole the shrunken head in some island. And the curse, of course, affected Brad the most, being the oldest of the Armstrongs. Diamond Dallas Page with that diamond cutter. This could be the end or the beginning of a stronger arm, strong hurt. That's right. You know, friends of both these bands and both these wrestlers, I'm look really interested to see what's going to happen. Right now, let's introduce the one, the only, Diamond Dallas Page representing Van Halen. Five. Amazing wrestler. Uh, this is what this is what made the people came to see. Look at the fans. I mean, uh, this this is the guy I would want to have wrestling for me here today. Diamond yeah. Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page does not know what give up means. Does not know what I quit means. Look at the intensity on this guy's face. He can smoke a cigar and beat you at the same time. Yeah, he's got amazing passion. He's he's fantastic. Right now, let's check out what's going on up there with Carson. What's up, my man? Well, I don't know. Diamond Dallas Page is just lounging in the corner over here, smoking. DDP, I gotta tell you something, brother. I'm wearing your hat and I'm a little afraid of Brad. Are you gonna protect me? I'm representing. You're fine. Check that hat out. Let me see that hat. Here he goes. The secret pocket in the hat. Talk a little about you're representing Van Halen. This is one of the beginning bands. They are straight up rock and roll. I don't care if it's David Lee at the helm. I don't care if it's Sammy or Gary. As long as they got Eddie, we got the axe. That's Jacked! All right, and over here we've got Brad representing Metallica. Yeah, you know, all right. I got you got Brad representing Metallica. Metallica rocks, Jack, and so does Bad Brad. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna rock your socks off, son. And you know what? Don't shut your mouth. These people got no respect for real talent. Metallica's real talent. And you know what? Don't make me put the Armstrong curse on you, son. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to rain on your parade. No pun intended. You see what the hat says, brother? Twenty years of terror. That's right, and I'm a rain terror on you, son. That's right. All right, heavy words and a big battle. If you're at home, now is what you got to do. If you want to vote for Metallica, Brad's representative. If you want to vote for Van Halen, we got DDP right over here lounging. If you're at home, I'm getting the hell out of the way, I'll tell you that. If you're at home, there's a 900 number on your screen right now, 95 cents to call. You got to be 18 years of age, and you need a touchstone phone. You got to dial it carefully. Here we go with the battle. Check it out. No brainer. Pick up the phone and dial it in. Van Halen style, because without you, it ain't happening. Just like this song, without you, bang. All right, let's get right in here, Brad. Come on over here. We've got a uh, Claire Winner here. Oh, we can't get him too close. I'm sorry. 54% for Van Halen, 46 for Metallica. Diamond Dallas Page is the winner. What can we say? Holy mackerel.
to talk to, Jesse. How you got a fan? Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, who are you rooting for? Right now, Van Halen. But I gotta be telling you, I'm down with Kidman. Kidman! 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 Yo, that's some stuff, Papa Lush. Right on, man. We just gotta turn it over to the boy, Matt Pinfield. At the WCW announcer! Yeah, thanks a lot, Jesse. Thanks, Ananda. And of course, I'm here with the WCW announcers, Larry and Tony. And we've got an incredible special guest coming your way. Guys, let's talk about it. Okay, we've got the man who has now helped split, I guess, the New World Order. He's one of the leaders of the NWO Wolf Package. He's going to be coming out here right now. And he's got a big weekend coming up next weekend. I think he's ready to come out. The Macho Man Randy Savage is here. I talked about him having a big week weekend next weekend because next Sunday is Slamboree. It's our big pay-per-view event, and he will face one of the greats in our sport, Brett the Hitman Hart. All right, here we are, center ring, Macho Man. What do you think about this weather and this crowd? I'm no stranger to the rain, Carson Dilly, but I want to ask you a question. Dude. What's that, Macho Man? Metallica rocks. They're the bomb, brother. What a hip, but how'd they get beat? Well, we've got people at home watching. they got to hit that 900 number and vote for their favorite band or their favorite wrestler. I know it, but what are you doing at home, man? Why are you heading the right place, man? Get together. Yeah, because uh, just like Slamboree in eight days, you know, uh, the hitman Brad Hart versus the Macho Man Randy Savage, I'm going to gun him down. Worse than Guns N' Roses would win this uh, video massacre. What are you doing to get ready for the next eight days here? Are you pumping some iron, or what do you do to get prepared? Uh, drinking adult beverages. What do you think about that? Look at the deal. Wow. Me and Macho Man have the same training routine. It's amazing, brother. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, my. God. Yes, Macho Man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, brother. I'm standing right over here. Matt Pinfield, I think I just crossed the line, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I got to get a little scared being that close, you know, because he is a tough man, macho man himself. Anyway, you know what? We're moving on right now to match number four, the Battle of the Davids. And representing David Lee Roth, it is you, Morris, with Jimmy Hart. Yay! Hey. to step into the ring for David Lee Roth. Because you see, he's just a gigolo and he's got his eye out on California girls. <laughs> so Diamond Dave, when you see sick boy spleen, <laughs> splat it all over that canvas. <laughs> just remember, it's for the red, white, and blue. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, what do you think, guys? One of the biggest, one of the scariest men is Hugh Morris. And, and this, this Jimmy Hart's a walking billboard here. Well, he's a walking billboard, also a man who will sacrifice for his teammates. And, of course, Randy Savage is about as stable as nitroglycerin. It's going to be pretty incredible. No, no question about it. All right, let's check out the other David right now. Representing David Bowie, it is Sick Boy. David Boyd, and I promise you, we got about a million hits between the both of us. And Hugh Morris, there's going to be a lot of ch 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 changes come across your face when I get done with you. So let the beating begin. And Bowie, this is for you. Absolutely. This one's going to be incredible, the Battle of the Davids. Anyway, we'll be back with that match when MTV's Ultimate Video Feud returns, so stay with us. <laughs> The pain in the rain. And 
Destiny's Ultimate Music Video Feud. Let's take a look right now. We've seen some great fights, some great videos. You at home, you're voting in on your favorite. We're going to set it up. Take a look at the red bracket right now. And you've seen some winners. Van Halen won. Cannabis won. We're in the final match of the red bracket right here to my right. Well, we've got Jimmy Hart here. Hugh is representing David Lee Roth. You know, let me ask you something, Carson. Yesterday on MTV, Green Day was there with you. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Who did they say their favorite wrestling manager was? The mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Am I right yes, or wrong? Yes, yes, they did. Yes, they did. That's right. Yes, they yes, did. Yes, sir. You know what? David Lee Roth. Who stole David Lee Roth's name from him? Diamond Dallas Page. Am I right, Hugh? Diamond David Lee? Diamond Dallas Page? <laughs> But just a gigolo, that's our video. All right, and over here we've got Sick Boys representing David Bowie. Now, David Bowie is one of the most original people in music. Is he? Yes, he is. What's Mars, he done? Dude. Spiders from Mars, dude. He's done some great stuff. We're setting it up at home right now. There's a 900 number on your screen. Vote for your favorite. Vote for your favorite artist or your favorite wrestler. It's a 900 number. It costs 95 cents to call. You need a touchstone phone. Let's let the battle get underway right now. Man of rock and roll and the most humorous man of wrestling. What a combination, David Lee Roth. <laughs> okay. He made Van Halen what it is today, man. They say there's no cure, but there very well may be a cure if you vote for me and David Boyd. You got the final numbers in. 62 to 38. David Lee Roth wins. A conspiracy behind the voting. David Lee Roth. And you're the winner. Listen to our fellow over there. Let me tell you, baby, you got beat fair and square. David Lee Roth's the man. <laughs> All right, the red bracket is complete. Let's go over to Matt and the WCW announcers for the next battle, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot, Carson. I'm here with Tony and Larry right now from WCW, and we've got another great match coming your way. This is a big one. What you, do you know, think? there is a pattern developing here, and I can tell you what it is. These music videos are all great, but when a fan favorite supports a music video, that music video is winning, and there's another example right there. Yeah, well, I got to agree with David Bowie. You people should be afraid of Americans because we don't take no crap. That's right. In fact, coming up what right now, say? let me tell you a bit about this Thanks next match. With the guy. It's known as Maternal Stretch Mayhem. Him, Check it out. Representing Madonna, it's Kidman. Just hook him. Yeah. There he is. I see him. He always has an itch, and we have no idea where it comes from. So we never really get close to him. But he's in the same boat with Sick Boy. You got a guy with an itch and a guy named Sick Boy. He's, people say he looks like Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters a lot. Well, they come from the flock led by Raven and basically a bunch of robotized sheep. I think this kid suffers from lice. Is that what but he is feels like? your pain. <laughs> Okay, actually, you know, I made a little mistake, and I'd like to clear that up. Kidman is actually representing Salt and Peppa, okay? Now, up next, it's Ultimo Dragon representing Madonna. Salt and Pepper, who's at top, number one. You can see the man's cold, but he's still in there. I don't think Kidman feels pain, cold, rain, anything. Dragon's going to have a tough time, Tony. You know, this guy likes to fly, but he's getting no traction today. Kind of odd, our first masked man of the evening would represent Madonna. I don't know if you want to read anything into that or not, Matt. Went over my head. Absolutely. Well, let's check it out. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing. You got the maternal mayhem thing with all these different uh, singers in, in popular music becoming mothers. Are you a little cold? Yes. I can imagine. Now, Madonna, talk about Madonna. You're going to take on Salt and Pepper here in Kidman. Yes. Uh, salt and Pepper. All right, very good. Kidman. I'm representing Madonna. Being that she's my ex girlfriend and all, I will take the pleasure in, in winning with the video. The crowd doesn't seem to agree with that. Didn't, didn't she write a song about you, Like a Virgin? Yes, she did, actually. There's a sequel coming out. It's a lot longer, though. All right, if you're at home right now, Ultimo Dragon and Kidman, you need to vote. There's a 900 number. The fans are going nuts here in New York City. Just go ahead and call in the number. Vote for your favorite artist or your favorite wrestler. We urge you to vote. And he tossed out 95 cents a call. you got to be at least 18. Hit that touch-tone phone and check out these videos and get ready to vote. Vote for Madonna, my girlfriend. And me and her can live happily ever after. And her two friends that she carries around with her. Vote, salt and pepper, please. 
All right, and the results are in, and I don't know what the hell's going on here in the stage here. You guys are into Kidman. Are you into Madonna or Salt and Pepper? What the hell is going on? All right, you tell me. I would not expect any less confusion from this rinky-dink little channel like MTV. But I'll tell you what, Madonna is me all the way. I could really care less what happens with these sh here or these idiots at home, because I'm out of here. All right, Ultimo Dragon, you've won with Madonna, 54% to 46. Congratulations. He's a winner, and he's happy. It's wet, and we're live in New York City. Let's go to Ananda and Jesse in the crowd. Are you mad? Are you happy that Madonna won? Yes, I love Madonna. She's fucking up. She is the bomb! She Madonna is, is great! She's not great. No, I would never do that. Oh. You know, and I just wanted to say, you know, uh, even though Salt and Pepper referenced their first two hits in there, push it, and my mic sounds nice, you know, it didn't beat out Madonna, and the new album Ray of Light. People really love that Frozen beautiful video, and she's always had a big fan base. Let's talk about those wrestlers, though. Ultimo Dragon is one of the great champions internationally, and he is a fine wrestler. You just really don't stick a mic in his mouth and they can't speak English. But Kidman is a guy who doesn't like anybody or anything, and, and I don't even know why he's in the ring representing anybody at all. I mean, it blows my mind. Well, again, a robotized sheep of Raven's flock. Raven, obviously, man, told the man to come out here, represent Madonna, whoever. But the Ultimo Dragon won. I just don't think he realized it yet. I don't think he did either. No, you, got, you, yeah. got, you have to speak Japanese. Yeah, it's true. Let's check out what's going on in the stands once again speak with Japanese. Ananda. What's happening? Japanese. Man, we are live and in person right here at Chelsea Pierce. And the rain hasn't had any effect on this man. The diehards, man. The tattoo man's here. Jesse, what's up, baby? Hey, man, just kicking it. Yes, take the rain. Hey, you want to get that ring and do some tossing? I yeah. slam you, man. I, I slam you. Raven! Raven! Raven's gonna fight. You guys gonna come back oh, and see how all the action goes down, man. We are live here at Chelsea Piers with all the fans. They bared the weather, and it don't mean nothing because we're having a ball today, y'all. We're having a good time. Y'all are nice and warm in the house. We're here kicking it. Come right back. MTV, WCW, Ultimate Music Video. Good, man. Yeah! Back at MTV's Ultimate Music Video Feud. It is a little rain. A little rain never stops anything. We've had some great video battles. I'm here with Jimmy Hart and Hugh Morris. A little rain. Hey, I thought Pinfield was a lot bigger on TV. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, you won with uh, David Lee Roth, and it's supposed to take on Van Halen, but we don't know where Diamond Dallas Page is. Where is Diamond Dallas Page? Hugh is out here. We're waiting to get the next challenge going. Oh, here he comes. Oh, Diamond no. Dallas Page. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Look. Oh, please. He'll do anything to win. Wait, wait. You can't win like that. I want to wear something like that. Listen, I do that when you can't wear something like that. All I want to be is a nitro girl and dance in the ring every Monday night. Oh, please. Diamond now. Dallas Page entering the ring. Representing Van Halen, DDP. How you feel about this next music video? I decided to bring my better half with me this time for round two. Smart choice, smart choice. Hey, wipe the drool off your chin for starters, Carlson. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> you're, you're I'll let her the put the video over. Hey. All I've got to say is I love Van Halen. Of course, I love everything extreme. Look at who I'm with. <laughs> All right, now for you at home, what you got to remember is that David Lee Roth and Van Halen, not only is it a feud right out here in the middle of the ring, but it is a feud in real life. The feud between David Lee Roth and Van Halen. Have a look. Did I leave Van Halen or did they ask me to leave? He broke my heart. He hurt me. I think there's a lot of dishonesty going on there. And that's a big part of the reason that I left Van Halen. I never lied to him about anything. 
know, I don't know what kind of drugs he was on or what the hell was going on in his mind. I wanted to be legitimate with the fans. I wanted to be honest with my music. Yeah. Screw you. All right, and we're back. There you go. That's the feud in real life. We're going to go to the music video feud right now. Diamond Dallas Page, Hugh Morris. We're going to put the 900 number on the screen right now. If you're at home, get ready to pick up the phone. 95 cents a call. you got to be at least 18. Hit that touchstone phone and vote. Here we go to the MTV Music Video Challenge. Have a look. Diamond Dave, sorry you got dropped like a bad habit, sucker. But the bottom line is Van Halen is living on. I want you to pick up the phone, make the call, monkey boy. It's a no-brainer. Bang it on home, Van Halen. Van Halen, he did all their million subtle records, so vote for us. Please vote for him. David Lee Roth, he's going to win it. Van Halen, one song, we don't even know what it is. David Lee Roth rocks. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are back and we have a winner. Does anybody, anybody want to know? It was very close, but right at the end there, the winner is Van Halen is the winner. And Diamond Dallas Page, it was close, Jimmy. It was really close. Hugh, it was close. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm People never coming back to New York again. Van Halen is the winner, and Diamond Dallas Page. Let's go over to Matt, the announcers, right now for our next feud. That's right. Thanks a lot, Carson. I am here right now with the WCW announcers, Larry and Tony. Guys, what did you think of that one? Well, you know, I think Van Halen had the advantage because, like Diamond Dallas Page, we just have to take Kimberly. I, I, I would agree with that. She I, wins. We liked both videos. Both videos were good. But once again, Diamond Dallas Page is the man to stay with there, Matt. That's right. Let's move on to the next match. This is going to be an exciting one. This is the battle for Seattle. That's what it's called. Right now, let's introduce representing Pearl Jam. It is Glacier. Can he combine them and can, can he keep his main ability, his balance, in the ring under these slippery conditions? Okay, right now, coming up, check it out. Representing Hole, it is none other than Raven. a strange character, Raven. In fact, this guy's so far out there, we've got to have a satellite link up through the Hubble to get a close-up shot of this guy. There, there's the Hubble shot. If anybody should represent Hull, it's Raven because that's what he's crawled out of. And just a disgusting look on his face. It's good news that they took Diamond Dallas Page out another way and had Raven come another way. If those two guys would have seen each other here, there would have been a fight going on. Their feud's been unbelievable. I'll tell you, their feud is really heating up. Let's check out what's going on up there with Carson in the ring. Carson, what's up? Well, there's a lot of intensity going out here. It's the battle in Seattle. Raven is representing Courtney Love. Anything you want to say about Courtney Love? Apparently, the only way to get on MTV is to either be a corporate rock puppet or to have to stand out in the rain like a ridiculous fool. All right, Glacier, you're representing out of Seattle as well. What do you think? Oh, look, you know, I'm out here. They could bring me out here and make me square up against someone like social degenerate like Raven. I mean, I'm just ready to get it on. Let's just uh, stop mixing words and get it on. All right, if you're at home, we're about to get it on. There's a 900 number on the screen. Start calling right now for the battle in Seattle. 95 cents a call. you got to be at least 18 on a touchstone phone. Here we go, the battle in Seattle. Vote for Courtney Love, vote for Pearl Jam. I really don't care who you vote for. Just get me out of this ring and leave me alone. All right, and we're back. We've got the final results in. 65 for Courtney Love, 35% for Pearl Jam. The battle in Seattle goes to Raven and Courtney Love. Any comment on that, Raven? Wow, how lucky am I? We win. All right, we're going to take a short break. We get back MTV's ultimate music video feud live in New York and a lot more exciting matches coming up. Stick around. All right, and we are back.
back at MTV's ultimate music video feud. It is the pain and the rain where Chelsea appears in New York City, and we're getting down to the wire here. We've got the Ultimo Dragon who already won. You're representing Madonna. You think you can win again here against Raven? I think uh, Madonna go win. Madonna is good. Raven, you and I are no strangers. You made a little appearance on MTV Live and busted a, a, a stop sign over DDP's head. Yeah, I should have busted it over the Food Fighter's head. But let me get this straight. If I lose this round, I can leave now? So vote for Madonna. All right, now what you might not realize in real life is that that was actually a little bit of a feud not too long ago, Madonna. And uh, let's check that out right now. This is the battle, Courtney Love versus Madonna, and they had some problems. Take a look. Does this reflect a new smoochiness in your life? Or? You, you may say it's um, a reflection of that, but it's, um, it's also... Courtney Love is in, in dire need of attention right now. Should we let her come on? Yeah. No, don't, please. Come on, Courtney. What you doing? I'm talking I'm, to am I, am I fully interrupting? I'm no, no, no. I'm, I'm so here. over the uh, rock star thing. But yeah. you don't even do rock stars. You, like, you dip, as Michael Stipe would say, dip into the population, right? Wait, who's got better shoes? You guys go back. My shoes are Charles Jordan, babe. Mine are, are Gucci. You just I know they're Gucci. It's obvious. And yours are? Those suck and they're un -PC. That died. All right, there you saw it. It is Courtney Love versus Madonna. You at home are going to make the final decision. Dial that 900 number on your screen. It costs 95 cents. And be sure that you're at least 18 and using a touch-tone phone. Here we go with the battle. All right, and we got the final numbers in from your votes at home. It is 52% for Courtney Love, which means Raven wins. 48% for Ultimo Dragon. That means Courtney Love beats Madonna. Sorry about that. Oh. What can you do except get out of the cold? Raven, you won. You got to be excited about that, huh? They're both a bunch of whiny tramps. Who really cares who won? All right, let's go right over to Matt and the WCW announcers, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I love Raven's positive attitude. In fact, you know, this could get pretty crazy because, hey, we got this next one coming up, this video feud with Van Halen represented by Diamond Dallas Page against Booker T for cannabis. So you know what will happen if Diamond Dallas Page wins. That means Diamond Dallas Page and Raven could end up face-to-face -face in this ring, and they may end up, if that happens, in the Hudson River. Yeah, well, Courtney Love won this battle, but there's no love between Diamond Dallas Page and Raven. All right, let's check out that video match right now. Brought to us, Booker T representing Cannabis versus Diamond Dallas Page representing Van Halen. All right, we're, at, uh, we're right here in the center of the ring. This is gonna, what it's going to come down to. we got Diamond Dallas Page representing Van Halen and Booker T representing Cannabis. And the winner will meet Raven and Courtney Love. How do you guys feel about this match? It's getting down to the wire, DDP. First of all, we ride together, man. We don't really care who wins in this scenario because we're, we run. Buzz. <laughs> I tell you like this, you know. I want you to pick up the phone. You know, Van Halen, you know, they're one of the top groups in the country. You know, they're hot right now. They're cooking. They're smoking, you know. But you know who we got. We got cannabis, yeah. and they still on the one. You got Booker T out here. You got DDP. Pick up the phone, baby, and call. All right, the 900 number is on the screen right now. 95 cents a call. You got to be 18. It's getting down to the wire. The winner of this one's going to meet Raven and Courtney Love. Here we go with our feud. Have a look. Final numbers in, 57% to 43 in favor of Van Halen and Diamond Dallas Page. Booker T and Cannabis lose in the semifinals. We've got a huge match coming up. The final one, the ultimate music video feud, it'll be Diamond Dallas Page's Van Halen against Raven and Courtney Love. Before we go, check out Ananda in the stands. Ananda? All right, and we are back to MTV's ultimate music video feud. The last couple of hours, single and elimination. We've got the hottest wrestlers of the WCW and MTV's hottest videos going at it head to head. And it all comes down to this 
in the final. We've got Diamond Dallas Page representing Van Halen. And of course, we've got Raven representing Courtney Love. The final video feud. Let's go to Matt Pinfield and the announcers right now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm right here with my homeboy, Diamond Dallas Page. What's That's up? That's right, baby. Jersey Boys right here. My buddy Tony P. Matter of fact, going down to Convention Hall in Asbury Park tonight to see Green Day because I know they're going to be banging. That's down right. There. Absolutely. He's one of our good friends, Tony. No, man. baby. Before we go, I'm going to head on out there and do a little bang on myself. Absolutely. It's Raven time, putting Courtney Love and Raven in yeah. a place. Change his attitude. You got to do that. Let's check it out. Diamond Dallas Page, everybody. Yeah. Self high five. we promised and representing Courtney Love and Hole it's Raven what's going on that's not that's not that's, that's, kid not, man. that's, that's kid man. Man. is this just like Raven or what yeah Raven? this is just like Raven again pulling that psychological game of human chess sending out Kidman here in front of Diamond Dallas Page. No one knows what Raven's doing, but look at Diamond Dallas staring at Kidman. He knows what Raven's up to. I tell you guys, it was wild when we saw them. It's got, oh, okay, where is Raven right now, by the way? Where is he? Why has got Kidman out there? I don't get it. Kidman okay, looking like a cross between Dave Grohl and Trent Reznor up there for you music fans, as you know, and wrestling fans. Carson, what's going on up there? I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. To, Kidman, what happened to Raven? Why are you out here? Raven is disgusted by the, these these confused proceedings and the terrible weather, and he's decided to leave. All right, well, we've got the final video battle right now. It is uh, Courtney Love against Van Halen. There's a 900 number on the screen. Go ahead, and if, you want, if you're home right now, be sure and vote. This is the final battle. It costs 95 cents a call. You've got to be 18 and use a touchstone phone. The final battle. Have a look. All right, and we've got the finals. We're having a little confusion because the votes are still piling in. I've got the belt right here for the first ever MTV music video feud. Van Halen has beaten Courtney Love 54% the final, which means that goes, this is going to go right over to Diamond Dallas Page. No, Kidman, I don't believe that's yours. Sneak attack attack! A sneak attack attack by Raven with a stop sign, but Diamond Dallas Page is choking this man out! He's got him hanging by the neck, Yang and Kidman's laying flat! Look at this! The attack by by Raven, it backfired on him down and he's just he's, he's pulling him in like a hog! He's got that bull rope with that cowbell hook to it, and he's going to try oh he's gonna take the cowbell and hit the man in the head. Speak to Raven, never more! You're not kidding, and there he is! Too great. You're, you're not the, kidding, Matt. There he is. No, no, Raven's a weird character, Matt. This guy sometimes in the, in the most painful holes in submission history has a big smile on his face as he passes out. He's insane. Yeah, he is insane. I'm telling you, I'm glad my own boy. Look at him. He's smiling. It. It's a nut. I'm glad Diamond Dallas Page, he, he, he did him right. I think so, too. And the good news is when Nitro comes back on the air at 8 o'clock Eastern time this Monday at its regular time on TNT, DDP will have a new belt and hopefully get some more payback on Raven. Absolutely. Doesn't he have to split that with Van Halen? I don't know. I will ask Kimberly. That's amazing. Diamond Dallas Page doing a great job. What? I, I, I don't know what I don't know what just happened. We Some people are hurt. Kidman and Raven's down here. I don't know what to tell you, but that's all we have for today. Diamond Dallas Page is, is obviously the winner. Are you okay, Raven? Thank you for watching. I don't know, is that it? Are we out here? All right, MTV's ultimate music video feud, Diamond Dallas Page and Van Halen, the winner. 
See you later. Thanks for watching. WCW and MTV.